So, <coughs> we're with uh, Des Ford, we're in the good old Rocket Fuel Audio, and Des is just playing a bit of his uh, keyboard section from his remix of Kim Sims' Dance Floor. Hello Des. Hello. <laughs> so have a listen to the, uh, the actual record then. Yeah. And then we'll talk a bit about it. Okay, here <laughs> it goes. Here we go. Right, Desi, so tell us a little bit about how you came about doing the rig mix and uh, what you sort of use, what instruments you use and your ideas. Right, well, I, you contacted me about um, recording some vocals for Kim on a couple of tracks that you've done. Um, so obviously I'm an audio engineer, so I record a lot, lot of bands, a lot of music, different styles. So yeah, Kim was over here doing some dates um, and then we got her in the studio for an afternoon and recorded two tracks. And then Scott asked me to remix one on the premise that I do something a bit jazzy, funky. So well, I think you've definitely uh, you've definitely come forward with that. So obviously, when you think jazz funk, you think 70s, don't you? But you yeah. don't want to be in the past. You don't want to be um, trying to relive things. Not that I could, because you know some of the music from the 70s is absolutely phenomenal. So I wanted a bit of that vibe. So you know, you think like kind of Fender Road sounds, yeah. nice kind of funky bass lines. I guess you know you're, you're thinking of. Um, Bernard Edwards and stuff like that, chic, those kind of vibes. But a modern yeah. sound, knocking drums. So, you know, recording like classics like your 909, but making them sound a bit more modern. Yeah. Um, nice synth sounds, kind of like space disco vibes. Um, nice solos. Oh, yeah, that's, that's nice solo. Very Herbie Hancock style, I guess. Oh, God, well, that's, that's a huge compliment. Percussion. I love percussion on house music. We all do, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and really just because um, how it worked in the studio, Kim had some main lines that we worked on together, and then she just did loads and loads of ad-libs. So you're kind of like piecing the track up about around what she's improvised, and then from that you get a structure. And I think a lot of people did that. I know you did, didn't you? When yeah, you did yeah. yours. Um, so I kind of mapped out the verses and the choruses. They were obvious bits, but then there's all the ad libs and the different sections. Like these sections here where there's ad libs that come in. It's, cool. Here's it's all the space noises. Yeah, Let's yeah. have a listen. Over the bass breakdown. Breathe a bit, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Cheers, Desi. Thanks right. for talking about it. And, and, then, uh, and then Kim's goes off it going on here. Loads of good ad libs. Yeah. 